South Carolina National Guard has had a heavy role in taking care of it as well. They train monthly, so they're ready for situations like this. A 7 News photojournalist Jason Parker gives you a closer look at how they're helping. I'm CW5 Lester Fur. I'm a UH-60 Black Hawk instructor pilot. We also work with the uh, forestry, fighting forest fires. Uh, flying to a fire, it's a lot of unknown. Um, as we're flying towards the smoke, we really don't know what uh, we'll find there. Really don't know how big it is until we get right on it. And at that point, we're in it, and now um, we're just trying to maintain visual reference and uh, keep a good idea of uh, where some clear airspace is in case, uh, um, you know, we get enveloped by the smoke. We start looking for the actual fire, and once we find the fire, our, our job is to put water on the um, actual um, base of the fire or uh, keep it from spread. Usually they're just trying to contain it. Um, we won't really put it out, but we will try to you know, slow it down until they can put it out. They can't get the dozers in sometimes, but the helicopter, we can put the water right on it and um, do some good work with the, um, with the bamboo buckets that we use. It takes a lot of skill to make sure that you um, um, stay safe. Thank goodness for people like them. You know, a normal day job, and then they come in there and help yeah. out like that. So those Chinook helicopters, the ones with the two rotors, yeah. they're amazing. It's amazing they can fly. It's been such a busy year for South Carolina's National Guard. They've been called in to help, of course, with flooding and with hurricane mm -hmm. recovery efforts. And they say that they are always looking for more help and encourage anyone interested to visit their local National Guard recruitment office.